All right, so we saw um, a very interesting situation in the last video where we had um, an inconsistent system. So now we're going to solve um, this system of equations, and we're going to see that it, it has a little bit of a strangeness to it also. So we, we've done, we've practiced with all three. Just to get a little bit more practice, a more varied practice, then let's go ahead and solve this one by using substitution method. We haven't done that one in a few videos. So um, let's take the first equation, the 3x plus y equals 1, and let's solve this for y. This one will not be bad to get y alone. So y will equal negative 3x plus 1. Well, remember with the substitution method, we take and solve one equation, and then we can plug it in inside the other equation. So now I can say negative 6x minus 2 times. Instead of y, I'm going to use negative 3x plus 1. I'm substituting that in for y equals negative 2. And now we need to distribute. So this will be negative 6x plus 6x minus 2 equals negative 2. Now here in this case, a negative 6x plus 6x, those cancel out. And we have negative 2 equals negative 2. This is a true statement. What this is telling us is it does not matter what x value we use here, it will always make a true statement. Now, normally when we have something like this happen, we would say it's all real numbers or all real solutions. But we have to be careful. It is all real solutions that work in this equation. Every solution that works, or every x and y value that works in this equation will also work in the other one because this is what's called a dependent system. Technically, it is consistent because it has an answer. Inconsistent means it does not have an answer or no solution. But more specifically, and probably even a little bit more properly, we call this a dependent system because the solution to one equation is also dependent upon the solution to the other equation. They are the exact same. Now, the way that we write this answer in proper notation would be the set of all x's and y's, or all points, the set of all points, such that 3x plus y equals 1. So what you're saying is any x and y that work in this equation will also work in the other equation by this notation. Now, just think about that for a second. If you have two lines, let's say we have um, a line that looks something like this. In order for it to have every single point in common with this other line, doesn't that mean that the other line would have to be right on top of it? That's why it's called a dependent system. These are actually the exact same line. 